warning, warning, warning. Bill Robinson, we have a problem. Well, I've got a new project. New project alert. New project alert. Kind of being like Harbor Freight or O'Reilly's, whatever. But my wife bought me these wagons over the years. And um, I've just been putting them outside in the spring, taking them in the fall. I took all my flower pots, dumped the potting soil in the, in the garden, and now I'm going to work on these. And as you can see, this one's in fairly good shape, but needs to be rebuilt. Now, that's something uh, your rich um, friend or relative would buy. And this is probably what would be what you would probably look at buying. Stay there. Okay. Uh, bottom's kind of falling out. But this is probably what I would probably end up buying. I don't want to have it falling apart. It's also lost a wheel. So I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm doing it well. Don't you agree? Okay, we started this project. We um, kind of have to look to see what the damage is. On this one, it's, I'm going to save it, but I've got to put a new bottom on it. Probably work a little bit with some of this stuff. Thinking about painting it maybe, but I'm not sure yet. I got a wheel that came off. I got to put that back on. Um, a lot of people just trash these, but still, I mean, it's still a good unit. Um, just a little bit of work, and it'll be fine. Um, the next one, I'll put this one aside here. The next one, yeah, I better, I better clean this out here. I've got a little workbench thing here. It's kind of a rolling thing that I use. And I had it inside, but it's weatherproof. It's made out of something where it's not going to rust. So I brought that out here to kind of work off of. This one um, looks like it just needs a new bottom and uh, maybe a little pounding and and screws and uh, glue. That one's not too bad. Now this one here, I think it just needs the bottom. It's kind of like that last one, but it still needs to be cleaned up. I'll probably repaint these. I, I don't mind patina, but when it gets to rust, uh, that's not good. So I'll redo all these. I'll probably take them all apart once I get the base on. But it's just measure the bottom. I've got some masonite. I'll measure it and I'll cut three of them. And once I get that screwed in and secured, then um, I can work on it done. So I'm going to measure that and be back. About 20 and 7 eighths is tight in the width. Try right here at the middle. Okay, right at 9 inches. 9 inches. What I do is uh, I'm going to get set up here and cut the three bottoms now. That way I've got something to kind of work off of and um, screw it in. And I'll show you what I'm using for that. Got my, got my saw. I'm going to use a jigsaw instead of a circular saw. It's just safer. I've got my straight edge. And I've got, I'm using this masonite. And I don't know how much longer it'll last than plywood, but I know plywood. But not last as long as this. And 
20 and 7 eighths by 9. Let's see if it's good this way. Just under. Flipping over here. Let's see how close it does come. Well, who ever thought that would do that? Yeah, it's pretty darn close. Close enough. I'm going to measure one out here. Nine inches. Use a straight edge to make sure I get a nice straight cut. I'm going to do a time lapse. So I'll get this started and then I'm going to switch to time lapse. Now the fun part, kind of cleaning these up and assessing all noise and no go. Buzz bomb. Okay, um, what we do is take these all out. I had screwed these to the bottom. You think? I'm not sure if I'm going to do that with this or not. I'm going to probably glue it too because once these things wear out, these sets of bottoms, I think they're going to be ready to throw out. Probably another five to ten years, I'll have them. Okay, I think this will work. Yeah, it'll be nice and tight. I'm going to, have to take a little off of here. Okay, I'll find a place to put these. I'll be right back. And fall is upon us, or I think it's here. I'm not sure when the first day of spawn is. But, okay. I'm going to try to fit this one in. And did it. I still have to clean these out. But I want to pre fit this so I know these edges need to be trimmed just a little bit, I think. Tight. Okay, so far I think it'll work. Let's get down in there. Okay, this one is red. Red. Oh, here we go. That one goes with this one. I'll probably do some work on these. Um, take a drink. It got me back on water. I think I've got dehydrated. We we're on vacation. And when you're on vacation, it's hard to drink enough water. Liquids aren't too hard to find, but water is not. It's not always easy to to get. I mean, when you're traveling and stuff, you can have it, but you can't get enough to really make it worthwhile. So I got dehydrated, started getting dizzy spells. I've got an appointment with the doctor on Thursday. Just to make sure there isn't something, um, um, I've got ten, tenonitis, tenonitis, tenonitis ringing in my ears, and I've got hearing aids because years ago my 
abuse my ears and uh, was forced to listen to some loud stuff around me and close to me. But um, so I got hearing aids. It, it kind of helps the ten tendonitis ring in my ears, but it um, it doesn't get rid of the dizziness. As you can tell, if you have watched any of my other videos, that I'm a little dizzy naturally. Please tune in again when I continue to repair these three wagons. You could say that I'm on the wagons again.